What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Yo Gotti brother Big Juke was shot and killed in Memphis and the moment the news hit the internet, Young Dolph fans began celebrating. They got in victory formation. They are sharing the same sentiment that Big Juke got what he deserved and this is just karma for Young Dolph murder. Now we all know what happened to Young Dolph. A beloved Memphis rapper went back home to pass out turkeys and was unfortunately gunned down at a cookie shop. And the moment his murder made news, everybody blamed Yo Gotti. Everybody pointing the finger at Big Juke and rightfully so because you guys remember correctly those are Young Dolph arch nemesis and allegedly they made multiple attempts on his life before even though they failed it just shows how far they would go to get Young Dolph up out of here. Sent the hundred shots at his well tried to get him in downtown LA and everybody was like damn the beef is that serious? So years later Young Dolph get taken out and his perpetrators get arrested and they got one thing in common with Big Chuck. They all in pictures with him. Straight drop in picture with him. Cornelia Smith, Hernandez Govan, CEO Teezy. So everybody was like, this don't look right. This don't sound right. What are the chances that you got beef with somebody? You made multiple attempts on his life allegedly. And the moment he gets killed, people start getting arrested and you in all the pictures with him. Y'all don't believe me? Take a look at this video of CEO TZ and Big Juke together. Let's go. Hey, I'm a, I'm a gambler. I know in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. You doing, you doing prop money <laughs> now. Is that prop money, man? That's prop That's money, man. Oh, look. He done dropped it? Yeah. So, yeah. That is your Gotti brother, Big Juke in a video gambling with Chula Mafia leader, CEO T, who is also very cool with straight drop. So let me get this straight. You in the video gambling with somebody, you got money all in your lap, you very relaxed. By looking at that video, he's very close with CEO T. Cause we all done gambled before. We all done shot the dice. If you shooting dice with people you don't know, you ain't just comfortable with the money falling all out your hand. Money sitting all on your lap, you sitting side by side with them. So it seems like these two got a very good working relationship and they just shooting a little dice, right? CEO TZ was questioned for Young Dolph murder. Let's just make that clear. And then, um, Big Juke is in photos with Straight Drop and Hernandez Gobin. You know who that Hernandez Gobin is. That's the guy the police say is behind the Young Dolph. They say he set it up. He he made the money. He paid everybody. Let's take a look at that photo. Boom! That is Big Juke with Hernandez Govan, the person who has been arrested for the murder of Young Dolph, who's the mastermind behind the murder of Young Dolph. So it's clear to say you can be like, damn, Young Dolph gets taken out. He's your enemy. You went pictures with everybody involved. It's safe to say you're guilty as well. We can speculate. We can give our hypothesis. We can give our educated guess. It don't take a lot to put two and two together. Like, hey, wait a minute, man. I get he had problems with Yo Gotti. I get you had problems with Young Dolph. But you cool with everybody who allegedly killed him. That's all we said. And let me say this to Big Joe. Young Dolph murder was a very high profile murder. Everybody emotions are running high. Everybody felt like his wonderful life was cut short. Everybody's blaming you. Everybody got videos implicating you in the murder. Everybody putting two and two together. Everybody saying CMG is behind it. And you gonna take your ass back to Memphis. I get you was going to a funeral, but you lose that privilege. You take out a big fish like Young Dolph allegedly, and you think you can stroll back up in Memphis for a um, funeral? You think you can run around Memphis? We all know what's been going on since Young Dolph got hit up. Everybody been taken out left and right. Comedians been offed. Hernandez Govan's daughter was allegedly taken out over Young Dolph hit. And now, Yo Gotti brother Big Jug has allegedly been taken out over Young Dolph. And let this be a lesson learned to all you street dudes. I know y'all want to be gangster. I know y'all want respect in the streets. Y'all want to talk about y'all the man out here. But just know, street victories are very short-lived. When you run the streets, you're going to take more losses than wins. 
One minute you taking a win. One minute you got the world on your feet. One minute you feel like you on top. And the next minute your world come crashing down. Because somebody you know might get taken out. Or you might just lose your life yourself. Look at this situation. Look at it. Your dog gets taken out. His killers get arrested. It's been chaos ever since. A comedian cracking jokes on Facebook was taken out. A lot of cash Desto was taken out. CEO TZ was taken out. Big Juke was taken out. And now Yo Gotti is left holding the bag. Yo Gotti is left answering questions, wondering what the hell happened. Because I'm going to tell you how the streets work. The streets don't go off facts. The streets don't go off evidence. The streets goes off emotions. If they feel like you had something to do with it, if they think you had something to do with it, they coming for you and your family. Ain't nobody in the streets being real detectives. Let me see the big jig has something to do with it. No, if I think he has something to do with it, if I think he talking slick, if I think he got one up on the team, I'm gonna crash out for that. That's how the streets work. And it seemed like Big Jook underestimated the streets the same way Young Dolph underestimated the streets. Because you see, they said it was a bag dropped on Young Dolph. They said it was a paid hit. They say Hernandez Govin gave out the money. It was transactions made through him. But everybody was like, Hernandez Govin ain't got that type of money. He ain't really got no real beef with Young Dolph. So he was more like the middleman. But who is he boys with? Big Jook and Yo Gotti. So that's what everybody was saying that Hernandez Govin was just the middleman. He was just the voice for Big Jook. But Big Jook handled all the money transactions. And now he's gone. And I don't think it's going to stop. And now let me speak to the people that's happy as hell that Big Jook has been taken out. Let me speak to the people that's celebrating Big Jook murder. I understand Young Dolph was taken out. You guys loved him. You guys feel like he wasn't going to receive justice. You wasn't satisfied with Straight Drop getting arrested. You wasn't satisfied with Cornelia Smith getting arrested. You wasn't satisfied with Hernandez Govan getting arrested because you feel like Big Jook and Yo Gotti was behind it. You feel like they called the shots to get Young Dolph up out of here. I understand. But what this going to do? Are you satisfied now? Do you feel like this is justice? Is this really the justice that you guys wanted? Because now we got Big Jook family feeling slighted. Now we got Big Jook homies plotting revenge. And I'm here to tell you, it ain't just going to stop there. Big Jook was a well-known name in Memphis. He had a lot of respect. He had a lot of hitters. And regardless how we may feel about him, he has family that love him and adore him that's willing to crash out over him. Willing to get that revenge. Willing to put in that work. So I'm here asking this question. Are you guys going to be celebrating when it comes back on the other side? When your side take a loss again? When your side is grieving again? How you going to feel about that? That's the question I want to ask everybody who's celebrating. Everybody who's happy about this type of justice. See, I believe in justice. But I like to leave it in the police hands. I like to leave it in the justice system because if you down with street justice, when it come knocking on your door, you can't cry in. You can't tell the police to do their job. If you believe in street justice, you got to believe in street justice. That's all I'm saying. So y'all can celebrate. Y'all can be happy as hell. You can say yo Gotti got what he deserved. You can say Big Jug got what he deserved. But all I'm going to say is Big Jug got some family members. He got some hitters. That's going to get that revenge. They're going to get that get back. You don't have a name like Big Jug and not get get back. He got hitters on payroll. They out riding around right now trying to put in that work for Big Jug. That's all I'm saying. And can we just be honest about Big Jug killers? This murder was a crash out. They all on surveillance cameras. They got witnesses that seen them. They vehicle description. They vehicles on camera. So these guys are going to get caught. Once police run them license plates, once they find that car, once they dust it for fingerprints, you know they killer's gonna get caught. Cause think about it, these dudes are not smart. They don't have sense enough to burn the vehicle. They ain't got sense enough to wipe the vehicle down. They just gonna dish the vehicle as is and hop into another car. Police gonna find that vehicle. They gonna dust for fingerprints. They gonna look for um, evidence inside the vehicle and they gonna find what they're looking for. So these guys crashed out. And that's why I'm saying Big Jook family, Big Jook side gonna get that payback. They gonna ride too because these guys crashed out. Big Jook probably got some people on his side that's gonna crash out the same way. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. But I wanna know how you guys feel about it. 
Do you think Big Jig murder was because of Young Dolph murder, or do you think it has nothing to do with Young Dolph and just street stuff? Let me know in the comment section. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.